What's up, guys? Shell style. Another random video for you. Actually, it's not random. I actually planned this out, so I shouldn't say that for this video. All right, so originally I was going to like continue with this, um, the process of me editing this sequence. Now, in my last video, I showed you how I sync up the audio files with my clips, right? I'm um, using Pluralize. Something that I skipped on last video because I was worried that my uh, my video catcher was gonna mess up is basically creating proxies. With this video, I want to show you the benefit of using proxies. Now I have made a video about using proxies and all that, but I wanted to show you more why using proxies benefits you and pretty much what's going on when you're using proxies, right? Also, I want to show you how to like organize yourself when you're creating proxies because uh, proxy files, uh, especially Cineform, they're a lossless file. It's gonna take up a lot of space, so most likely you're gonna need to have a dead dedicated external hard drive that has large storage space, right? I'm not talking about like up in the terabytes. Now, the biggest storage device that I got in my computer is a Western Digital Red. It's a NAS storage device and it's four terabytes. I use this for one to like, you know, store a bunch of stuff, you know, obviously, you know, uh, backup files and whatnot. Also, I use it to store all my proxies, right? So every time I create proxies, it goes into my NAS four terabyte storage device. And so yeah, proxy files, they add up. Yeah, see in this folder alone, this is where I, you know, store all my proxy files. That's uh, 232 gigabytes, right? And I only got about maybe... I want to say five project worth of proxy files in there. I'm not sure. That's my guess, right? I mean, I usually delete them like after a while, of course, because you know I don't want them to, to add up, right? There's no point. But I'm saying this that um, Cineforms is a lossless file, and like the playback of those files is very smooth, right? But they're gonna take up a lot of space. So if you have a very large SSD, cool, you can use that. But the cool thing about using Cineform proxy files is that the read speed in a mechanical hard drive is very fast, and like. I've been using that since I started using proxy files and has been about years now. So if you want to like uh, have this workflow by creating proxy files and using Cineform, which I do encourage you, you want to get yourself a dedicated uh, mechanical hard drive that has, you know, a large storage capability. Now, most likely you already have a mechanical, you know, a storage device. So you might want to like, you know, move your files around and make space for your proxy files because like I said, they're going to take up a lot of space, right? However, you can set up a setting where it doesn't create large proxy files and you know still give you enough like uh, visual data to edit with right so now this is like the project that uh i started with from like the previous video now as you can see here look at this i'm just playing back in real time it's just sweet right now i'm going to disable the proxies so you can go to edit go to preferences go to media and you have like enable proxies i'm going to disable that now there are commands for this so like uh, i'm just showing you where it's at right but from now on i'm going to use my shortcut to enable and disable proxies also like this uh, this icon down down here when it's grayed out like this that means the proxies are disabled i'm going to uh, enable the proxies again when it turns blue like this it's telling you that is using the proxies right i'm going to disable the proxies again so now it's playing off like the raw video format as you can see here like as i'm scrolling through the timeline it's taking a long time for like the computer to catch up right i'm gonna enable the proxies again and see the difference so now like i can just scroll through the timeline and like if i need to get to like a certain point i don't need to wait for like the computer to catch up right it's really awesome I guess the best example of what's going on is basically video games, right? I'm sure everybody fucking knows video games. Now, just like a video game engine, pretty much what's going on is like the, the graphics that you're seeing on screen is being rendered in real time, right? And that's, I guess, is what's happening right here. Pretty much the video quality is being thrown at you in real time because Cineform is a lossless file format, so it's being shot at you in real time. When you get like the footage from the camera, it's kind of in a compressed format. So basically what's happening is like the computer has to take some time to like decode the video file from the camera and like figure out, okay, this is the image quality or the size or whatever. I mean, uh, I actually talked about this with Paul. He knows more than I do. So I'm just giving you like the bare basics of what I know, which ain't much, right? But you can do your own research about that. I uh, really don't want to get into it because I don't fucking know. And we, we care about results, right? <laughs> Fuck the facts. In this case, the facts are important but not in this case, right? So I'm going to turn on my task manager. Let's see, I'm going to expand this guy. Now I'm going to disable the proxies. And uh, this is no proxies. This is just straight video footage. Now, one of my CPU cores is being utilized because, you know, my screen capture, right? But uh, it should be fine. As you use the playback, you can see the CPU usage. It starts to increase, right? It's up in the 90s, 80s. See all the cores of my CPU 
Um, I have a 6800K in case anybody cares, but you can see like the CPU usage, it goes up to like 90 because, you know, like uh, the CPU has to like do whatever process it has to do to read the video format that's compressed from the camera, the raw footage that I got from Paul's cameras, right? When I create the proxies using the Cineform format, uh, you can see the difference of what happens. Now, I enable the proxies. Now, see the playback, but look at my CPU. See, it's not being utilized whatsoever, right? Because what's happening now is just like a video game, like the real-time rendering or whatever, it's pretty much being decoded or played back mainly using the GPU, right? So as you can see, the GPU right now, it's at uh, 14%. As I start scrubbing through like the timeline, let's see it increases up to like almost 50%, right? And you can see my CPU, the utilization stays at 40, right? I guess I wanted to show you what happens when you like create a proxy and pretty much the benefits of using a proxy, right? So yeah, Cineform, more real-time playback, kind of like a video game, more real-time rendering on the spot, right? Uh, when you don't have the real-time rendering, quote-unquote real-time rendering, pretty much like the CPU has to like do all the decoding or all the processing or whatever the fuck, so it, it takes more time to throw the image at you because it has to like process the image more, you know, doing the playback and all the shit, so. Again, that's my no knowledge understanding of that shit, so I just want to like show you, you know, what happens, so that's that. So what I'm going to show you right now is basically how to create the preset for uh, creating the cinema form proxy file. So you want to go to your Adobe Media Encoder, then down here here in the preset browser, you want to click on the plus sign. You want to first create the encoding preset, and then you want to create the ingest, ingest preset. So click on create encoding preset first. We get this window. So preset name. So I'm going to name this tutorial proxy format. Now we want to go with a Cineform codec, and that is a QuickTime format. So we select QuickTime. We want to export the video and audio. Make sure these are checked. Now with the audio, for the most part, I always have it at the highest bit rate possible, right? Because I just want to have like the best audio possible, you know. So when I'm doing my audio, audio correcting or whatever, uh, size-wise, for me, it doesn't make that much of a difference. But, you know, me personally, I just rather have like at 32-bit float. I guess from my understanding, the float part of it, it kind of uses more RAM space or some shit like that. So uh, that's my understanding. I don't know too much about it. But like, uh, like I said, I just put it at 32-bit float. For video, okay, here we go. So on the video codec, pretty much you want to select the GoPro Cineform. Now this is pretty much the important part. On the quality, just set it down to one. You don't need it to be that high. And everything else, pretty much I have it match source, right? The width, the height, or whatever, I just have it to uh, match the source, right? So I'm going to do a 720p a Cineform proxy and underscore zero zero. So do not render at maximum depth. We don't need that. Use rendered quality. You don't need that. These are proxies. You want to keep the files small. So I'm going to create this. Everything should be how it is. The frame rate and file order aspect should be match source, right? Cool stuff. Uh, usually I leave it as U Y U V 10. You know, we don't need the alpha. Um, alpha usually takes up a little more space because there's more data from my understanding, right? Because, you know, that's just basically a transparency, right? So I don't need it. So hit OK. There you go. All right, now after you create the presets, basically now with this, you're going to create the ingest preset. Pretty much the ingest preset is basically what Premiere Pro needs. That way you can tell it, okay, I need you to create the Cinema file with these settings, right? So click on the plus sign again, go down to create ingest preset and new preset. So let's just, again, let's say 720p proxies underscore zero zero. All right, this is like the important part. Transfer copy files to destinations. I don't need any copies. I already have my originals, right? Trend code file to destination. I have my own folder, so I'm going to click the down arrow here, go to browse location, and I'm going to search for my 4 terabyte storage device. And I got my proxy folder right here. I got select it, select folder, ready to go. QuickTime format, the preset. This is why you need to create the preset first. Now, like when you have the pull down menu here, here's the new proxy preset that we just created. I'm gonna select that. Everything is good. Destination, right, right. Everything's good. Hit OK. Awesome. And it says right here the format. Here's the ingest. Now, click on this guy to select it, and you wanna export it now. Export preset. It's gonna tell you where you want it. I'm gonna put it to my desktop just to be simple, right? The file name is fine. I think it's, yeah, this is the one. So now we go back to our Premiere Pro. We go to File, Project Settings, Ingest Settings. We want to make sure we check the Ingest checkbox here. We want to create proxies from the pull-down menu. The preset, click on Add Ingest Preset. It's on the desktop, and this is the one we created. 720p Cineform Proxy underscore zero zero. Hit Open. There you go. 
and it already has a primary destination because we already selected that, right? If by any chance, if like this is not right for you, you can click on like the pull down menu, then you can like, you know, mess around with this and you can choose a location where you want, right? But this is in the proxy preset that we created. We told it to go on this folder here, my uh, four terabyte, you know, Western digital storage device. It's going to be sent, all the proxies are going to be sent into that folder. So everything's fine. I hit OK. So now hopefully if I import another the video file, boom, it's created super quick. And there you go. It created like the proxy files and it matches like the width and the height and the frame rate and all that, right? So if we go to edit and go to preferences and we go down to playback, now this is going to depend on your computer, right? But um, when you import a bunch of like uh, a big batch of files inside of your Premiere Pro, obviously it's going to be transcoding like a bunch of files, right? One after another. It doesn't do it all at the same time, obviously. But um, the thing is that you can actually go here into your edit, then preferences, and then the playback setting. And you have a option here, which pretty much says pause media encoder during playback. So what that means is basically if this was checked, then you play a video inside of Premiere Pro, the encoding inside of media encoder, it pauses, right? That way it can like use the sources of your CPU to play back the footage inside of Premiere Pro. Guys, that is it for this video. Um, I hope it helps. I wasn't going to make this video, but I figured like it's something that's very important. And like once you start like learning how to work with like the Cineform proxies, it's just, it's a massive difference. There's no possible way that, see from this, how I'm scrubbing through like the footage, like nothing. Look how I'm able to just hover over this shit. And like I said, I'm using the proxies as being read off my Western Digital Red NAS drive. Obviously, you know, mechanical hard drives are not as fast as an SSD, but as you can see here, you know, that's, you can see like the usage is up to like maybe 50% the most, right? And it doesn't interfere with my playback whatsoever when I'm editing. I disable the proxies and look how it lags. Obviously, you know, waiting for the computer to catch up, it, it's very frustrating and like, you know, it slows you down big time, so... I don't know how it is now with the new CPUs, if like having massive, you know, core CPUs or whatnot, like helps in the sense that um, I don't have to create proxies. I don't know. But uh, for my computer and for your computer, if, you know, say your computer is not uh, super advanced at the moment, you know, again, no problem. But, you know, working with proxies will definitely help you out to edit faster, right? Again, this is pretty much how I work. This is pretty much what helps me out. And I, I'm hoping it helps you out in any manner. So there you go. So that's all I got for you. I hope it helps, right? Uh, check the links in the descriptions and all the good stuff. Follow me on uh, Instagram or on Twitter. Yeah, that's all I got for you. Just for the record, if I'm looking kind of like out of it, it's because I haven't had my coffee and I just woke up. You know, I got to get this video out of the way because I'm doing laundry today. Cheers. Extremely strong coffee. Ugh. Bye.